leak in a manhole cover that they say you could grow crawfish in. Rushing water in the streets of New Orleans, but no rain. This leak in Lakeview is a site that many New, Orle New Orleanians encounter in their own neighborhoods on a daily basis. And there's also water flowing from the ground onto Main Street in the French Quarter. These leaks are some of the many problems brought up today when the Sewage and Water Board went before council members to address problems that popped up during last week's freeze. Meg Ferris joins us now live with a closer look at these latest concerns. Meg? That's right, Natalie, and they reported that there were 452 work orders that came in for broken pipes during the freeze, and they report that 143 have already been fixed. But the freeze damage was only a small part, part of the report today because council members brought up many of your complaints. While the new Sewage and Water Board interim executive director updated the city council's public works committee, about the unprecedented water breaks and low pressure from last week's freeze, questions quickly turned to the multitude of years-old mismanagement. They have three water leaks that are outside their property. One has been going on for four years. Part of the reason that I am here is to try to gain a clear understanding of that myself. A lot of our work order management systems and communication of the data is outdated. Council members wanted answers. Why are there still 400 vacancies while outside contractors are being hired? Why is the pension to workers sky high above other agencies when that money could give workers a pay raise? Why are call center complaints unresolved? Why are meters estimated to the higher side? And why are there unresolved billing issues? I've got a house here no one lives in that they use a few times a year because it's the old family home, and they've got a $7,000 water bill now. The interim director has only been in the driver's seat for 15 days, most of them dealing with the freeze crisis. She says she's looking into all the problems she inherited, ones that have been compounded by the high turnover of top and middle management. A lot of our work order management systems and communication of the data um, is outdated. And when Mayor-elect Cantrell pressed for a price tag on the freeze repairs, uh, the Sewage and Water Board said they did not have one. She pressed for an estimate then, and they said they've just been so busy fixing pipes from the freeze that they didn't have it yet, and they would get one to her. Reporting live from the French Quarter, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.